It's been five years since my dad passed. Five years filled with the absence of his love. I am constantly living in the after, the world in which I need to find my place without him, without his bare hugs and without the advice I never wanted to listen to when I was younger. What do you do when you're missing a person? You can look at old pictures of the two of you together or go through text messages and listen to their voice on video. What hurts me the most is that I can never hear his laugh again because we simply have no recording. I can never see his eyes, the blue in his eyes, light up whenever he talked about something that was important to him. My father was camera shy. That's not the right word. He loved being behind the camera, capturing his environment, but there was no one capturing him or at least that was super rare and we have it on photo and not video. So I'm making sure that I leave something behind of me for my loved ones and everyone who I inspire on the way. I want my kids to be able to tune into the love and presence of their mother whenever they want to. I don't even know if I'll have children, but if you're watching this, hey baby, I love you. You see a very vulnerable and young side of your mama right now and I hope this can give you some comfort. Or cringe. <laughs> cringe is also healthy and very okay too. <laughs> I want to be able to look back at my life and never forget a memory again. That one great summer I turned 35, I want to be able to remember it. That one time I was on tour with my singer friend Olive and I watched her sing her heart out on stage. I want to be able to rewatch it over and over again. Or the many adventures my husband will take me on in our marriage. I want to revisit every one of them. Because when we look back at our life, we mostly remember only the biggest heartbreaks or the big achievements we wrote down on our little CV. And what about the everyday life? The small moments, the in-between moments where you don't quite know what happens next or the conversations that literally change your life. I want to be able to remember them. One last question remains. Why do I post these videos? I could just easily do them for me and have a little sleepover slideshow with my family now and then. Why am I sharing my most vulnerable moments and highest of highs with strangers on the internet? I share my life with you, future friend on the other side of the screen, to make you feel less alone. Because when I'm going through it, I know you do too. And if you want to know more about the stories that I have to tell and how my life goes on, hit subscribe and I see you around the internet very soon. Mwah.